Hey Flosstube! Hi Flosstube! Welcome to our channel about cross stitch called Hathaway Stitchers. Uh, we are sisters and Hathaway is the name of the street that we grew up on. Mm -hmm. That is correct. That's that is why our channel is named that. That's the reason. Not, be <laughs> Not because I love Anne Hathaway. I mean, you don't hate her? I don't. She's okay. No. Do you know though, I <laughs> I now get Facebook ads for Me too. And Instagram <laughs> and like Anne Hathaway fan club. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Big brother listening. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're like, we're going to make her into an Anne Hathaway. It's true. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, welcome. We're so glad you're here. If you're new, we're glad you found us. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are coming back, we're so glad you came back. Um, I feel like it's been forever. Three weeks is a long it, time. It really feels like it. Like, it, I think we did a couple of extras in between last time that kind of yeah. broke it up, so it didn't feel, but like three weeks feels like a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that when we get to haul and thank yous. And well, starts and just a couple other everything. things. The list it's, is long for everything. Yes, this might be a long one. Yeah, you're in it for the long haul. <laughs> yeah, for um, sure. Yes. So super fast intros, and then we will dive in. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Erin. My pronouns are she/her, and you can find me on Instagram as Cozy Town Stitches. My name is Amity. My pronouns are also she/her, and you can find me on Instagram at Boomerang Stitches. Okay. Um, first, we wanted to talk about. We have two very exciting milestones mm -hmm. uh, that we've hit since the last video. Uh, the first is that someone, it's me, Miss Boomerang Stitches over here, <laughs> uh, has opened an Etsy shop. I did. Um, so if you saw our finish parade, she had two patterns that she had designed herself and had stitched about five, six, six, like six years six ago, years ago yeah. um, that uh, she yep, designed, stitched, showed in the finish parade, and I wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented and said, oh, you should sell those because I have been telling her that for a very long time. You have. And she doesn't listen to me. I she don't. did listen to you. <laughs> so, yes, thank you all well, so I much. Well, I listened to you when you forced me to show them. So, I just encouraged. What did you say? Aggressive, Aggressive encouragement, encouragement <laughs> to show them. <laughs> they were so good. See? Well, and it all you. worked out. So, um, yes. So, that is our first exciting milestone. And the second is that... We hit a thousand subscribers, which is I can't even. That's so many so people. So many people. A thousand. That's a lot of people. So I said it last time. Like five hundred people is so many people that want to hear about our cross stitch. Yes, and that was twice that. That's insane. It's amazing. It's a. It's yes, amazing. We're but like I can't fathom it. We're yes. We're incredibly grateful. Thank you all, <laughs> everyone. Um, so we have some uh, exciting kind of fun things we'll do mm -hmm. throughout the video. To celebrate both of those things so yep. um we're gonna jump in uh first we wanted to uh go through and thank everyone that had mentioned us in their floss tubes um and, oh no first i wanted to talk about stitchy kindness i'm already oh. coming straight off a of red eye yeah red eye for this video. <laughs> it's so, like red eye you just, went home for like what i napped a few minutes yep and then came over here yes so Apologies in advance if this is a little yeah. unorganized, yeah. but we're going to make it work. Yeah. I so. did not take it right away. I'm just tired. <laughs> kids. Yes, kids. True. Yeah. Easter morning. Why East, did, yes. Why did they yeah. wake up so early? Yeah. <laughs> They're so excited. Yeah. Um, so first I wanted to talk about Stitchy Kindness. So uh, Lil Stabbies on Instagram, Whitney, uh, had one of the, like, when we got back into stitching, like, she has a Twitch stream Well, she'll mm -hmm. just stream live and stitch and she... Uh, had that and we joined and um, I won a giveaway. So mm -hmm. I got that and was super excited. I got two pieces of fabric from Witch's Garden Crafts that are tangled together. <laughs> so you'll have to look at them like this. <laughs> um, this is like a really pretty opalescent called Type O. And then this one is perfect because I was looking for like a good purple for the femurs and fungi sal that mm -hmm. starts uh, on the 5th. I think the frame's released on the 5th. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about that in plans. But this was perfect timing because this will be exactly what I need for that. So yeah. thank you for those. And mm -hmm. then on top of that, she this made me so a scissor cute. fob with this little snail. Can I'm going to get him super close so you can see how grumpy he is. Look at that face. It's the cutest. Why is he so grumpy? I, I don't know. know. He's just a snail. He's, it's so cute. I love him so much. So this was my snail mail. It's adorable. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, Whitney. Um, mm -hmm. I love them all. The fabric is perfect. Mm -hmm. And this little guy went on my travels with me this week. 
uh, which was perfect because my my TSA approved scissors are like this big That's true. and super easy to lose. So, smaller than the snail. Yeah, smaller than the snail for real. Um, so yes, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone who mentioned us in their YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. um, it's we're gonna go through the list kind of quickly. I it's unreal to me. Like these are people that we've watched for a long time mm -hmm. and we love. So it's yes, so very. It's kind. like surreal. I know it sounds corny, but it's like surreal yeah. to like hear people talk about You're like, us. That like person. it's weird. Yeah. So <laughs> yes, we're so grateful. Mm -hmm. um, we. I am very behind on floss tubes, so I have my little watch later list built up, my queue. Mm -hmm. um, Somebody said, was it Bridges Get Stitches where she was like, I collect floss tube channels. Oh my God. Yes. I think it was, I have to double check, but I'm yeah. pretty sure she said, it's I like kind that. of like what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's uh, been a lot of travel, but yeah. I'll catch up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, I want to go through and we're going to watch everything. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk more in, in future episodes, but yeah. wanted to thank everyone quickly yeah. now. So, um, Amity very kindly made a uh, little like thank yous to post on Instagram with everyone. So mm -hmm. we're going to show these yep. up here. You'll As be we say their name, you'll be able to see their channel and yeah. I'll have their like link and stuff or Perfect. not link, but yeah, their name. channel name. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So first, uh, Andrew, who is the runner stitcher. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Um, Natasha, who is Britches Get Stitches. Mm -hmm. Everyone has, there's so many good names. The names are great. So many great names. Mm -hmm. um, Tara, who's the recovering book hoarder. <laughs> She's very good. Um, Sarah, who is Mod Cross Patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, Joy and Emma K, who are the Carolina Stitchers. Mm -hmm. Um, Afraid Stitch. That's a really good name, too. That's one of my favorite. Brandy. Names. Yeah. <laughs> um, Crazy Cat Lady Stitches, CCL, mm -hmm. uh, Kyleen. Uh, Laura, who is Stitching by the Shore, mm -hmm. Sarah, who is Sarah's Stitching Spot, um, Jen at Jen's Fiberweb, Michelle at Michelle Bendy Stitchy, um, Cross Stitch the Globe, Stephanie and Allison, also sisters, mm -hmm. um, the Heidi, who is the Potty Mouth Stitcher, uh, Cameron, who is Cam the Stitcher, and Nithya, who is the Daybreak Stitchery. Mm -hmm. Stitchery, not Stitcher. Stitchery. Yeah, I, I was right. She was right. I was like, no, <laughs> Daybreak Stitcher. She was like, I think it's Stitchery. Mm -hmm. um, and then Stephanie at Frolinets. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Um, Huge thank you. Yes. Like, this is why we are at a thousand subscribers. Oh, for sure. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Like, all. And so many people said, like, oh, I, I'm so glad Andrew, or, yeah. like, the runner Stitcher, talked about you. You know, if so. somebody, if you like hear about us from someone else, oh, please sure. let us know. Like, I love hearing about. I yeah. love hearing about it. And I love, yeah. like, letting the people know yeah. that they can see that. Yeah. Um, so those are, I feel so weird saying, like, if you should check out their floss tubes if you haven't seen, like. They've been around for most yeah. of them so long. Yeah. They're such um, established channels. Yes. And now I'm like. <laughs> yeah. But if you have not seen their channels, you absolutely, absolutely should check them out. Mm -hmm. um, they do amazing projects and are, it's so nice that they all share their talents with us. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, and I did want to take one more second to thank. Uh, Michelle at Michelle Bendy Stitchy and Marjorie at Marjorie Made um, because they helped us with some false tube questions that we had. So thank you to them. Um, so kind. They took their time to uh, to help us out. So um, and then our general thing or our standard kind of things that we say uh, anyone who um, viewed, commented, subscribed, uh, followed us on Instagram, shared our stories, shared our posts. Thank you so much. Yep. We appreciate all of you. Yeah. So um, we wanted to <clears throat> Excuse me. If you saw our last video, which was floss tube number three, um, we have we were celebrating 500 subscribers, mm -hmm. and Christy at Banana Oil, uh, incredibly kindly, who we love, yeah, we love, um, <laughs> sent us. You had to get a hand thing in there. So. I, I, it's so dumb. I don't know why I constantly, when we film these, have to tell myself, don't do finger guns. Like <laughs> just it's like my, like, <laughs> it's just a go-to, not in real life. No, Only when this I happens. don't think I ever, like, you're never I, like... I'm not, like, rootin' tootin' all the time. <laughs> I don't understand it, but poor Andy. <laughs> I just, I don't know why it happens, but, like, it just oh. feels right, so. All right. Yeah, that's, here we go. I mean, just let it go. Now you, it's, now you, it's like, a thing. put it out there. Now it's a thing, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oof, okay. 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 Well, since we made people wait three weeks, we're yes. doing this now. We're going to do so. the giveaway. Yes, we're going to do these right now. So um, we 
had a lot of comments, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, the 16 count was the most popular, Yeah, which was interesting. Yeah, um, in terms of like number of comments. So uh, we will share the comment of the person that went up here. So yep. for the 14 count, which Amity is going to show us. We'll show it again. Yeah. Just because why not? Because it's, it's so pretty. pretty. Yep. Um, so lovely 14 count. The winner of this was Stitching Jerry. So Stitching underscore Jerry. Congratulations. Yep. So we send us, we oh, yeah. send um, um, yeah. for um, everyone. For, yeah, for everyone that won, if you can send your address, your mailing address to hathawaystitchers at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll post this up here. Uh, we'll comment on your comment yeah. uh, and let you know that you won. Um, and yeah, we will get that out to you right away. Uh, we are adding one rule into the mix that we did not talk about when we did the I don't giveaway. remember what the one rule oh, is. Oh, is that if when you decide what you're going to stitch on it, we would love oh, to see it. Oh, yes. Love to see it. I'm just so nosy and curious. <laughs> I just want to know. Yeah. And that, like, the whole time, like, what do you think they're going to... I don't know. Yeah, what pattern do you think people are no going to put on No pressure. Like, you don't have to stitch oh, yeah. it right away. Obviously. Oh, obviously, yeah. yeah. And you don't have to, but we would love to see it. It would be nice. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, congrats to Jerry um, congrats. for the 16 count. Okay. Um, no, that was 14 count. No, oh, yeah, for the 16 going, count. Yeah, for okay. the 16 count, sorry. On to the next, the 16 count. That's what I was... Um, the 16 which count. is, like, a really pretty, like, oceany, earthy kind of fabric yeah. um the winner of that is pat tackaberry 51 so congratulations to pat congratulations yep uh, again just mail email us your address yep and we'll comment on your thing yep and then the 36 count which is oceany mm -hmm. and pretty the winner is the winner is boomerang stitches <laughs> <laughs> how weird <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds no. <laughs> um the winner is metal megan 6148 yeah. So, um, congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. And because we had so many people who were interested in winning, mm -hmm. um, I am making the ultimate sacrifice. And I originally got this 14 count and was going to stitch um, Rosewood Manor Autumn in the Pine. Autumn at the Pines? At the in the pine. Pines. I was thinking at, but I could, I don't know. In the Pines makes more. Anyway, that pattern, I'll show it. Um, yep, pines. I was going to stitch yeah. it on this. Um, and then realized how this many, is like it's double. so pretty. Oh yeah. Sorry. It is a fat, it's a full fat. There we go. Fat core. Um, I was really so how many specialty pretty. stitches it had. So I ended up buying some Lugana for it. Mm -hmm. Um, so we decided I would, uh, do one more and do another 14 count in the giveaway. So we drew one more winner for that. And it was Allison. Allison, Allison at the moment from cross stitch the globe. So, uh, congratulations, mm -hmm. and if you will give us your address, we will get that out if to you If you also. like this one. Oh yeah, yeah, if you like this one. If you don't, let us know. If you don't, let us know, and we'll just like draw again next. Yeah. Whatever, because yeah. you hadn't seen it, so. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, that is our, our giveaways for the last episode, mm -hmm. um, but stay tuned. We might have something else to talk about later for giveaways, so uh, we're going to jump into finishes. So Amity had two, I had one. You want to go first? I'll go first, yeah. Yeah. I finished my sad start from last time. Um, sad radish. Sadder than a store-bought radish. He's so grumpy. I love him. Yeah. I love him so much. But this um, is by Murder Puff and Cross Stitch on Etsy. And also on Instagram. They have an Instagram um, channel. Channel? I You just have an Instagram. You just have an Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, why did that sound weird? Um, this is just on 32 Count Hazelwood Lugana by Fiber on a Whim. Uh, call for DMC. Yep. Adorable. I don't, I don't know why I like it so much. I just, I just do. You know what this made me think of? And I know you'll probably remember this. Our mom, <laughs> our mom would eat radishes like apples. Oh yeah. Just like, like, like just like crunch. take a straight bite of a radish and it grossed me <laughs> every time. But she hated turnips. Don't, yeah. don't even try to give her a turnip. Yeah. So I don't know why. It made yeah. me, every time I was stitching on that, it just made me think of her eating these radishes. <laughs> But oh, that's funny. Saddish. Saddish. Yep. Um, and I finished Quaker Bells. Yay, so so pretty. is a From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy on 18 count vintage country mocha. Um, I she had a Gloriana and then a fancy floss conversion. I did the fancy floss conversion, but I switched the gold for heirloom gold. I think it was maple sugar or something. Anyway, I switched mm -hmm. the gold to make it more gold. Um, I, love it. I think it's pretty. This was my first real travel piece. Mm -hmm. So like legit travel yeah. piece. This thing's been everywhere. 
I <laughs> stitch on, I looked, I stitched on on four different planes, like plane rides and two different trains. So, um, oh, and I forgot to say thank you earlier. Like in the last video, I'd said, hey, if anyone has any tips for stitching on a plane and people oh, said, yeah. they were so helpful, mm -hmm. like stuff I never would have thought of. So um, thank you so much for anyone that shared that. It was, it was nice. Um, but no, I, I like plane stitching is kind of nice. You've yeah. got like a few hours of like uninterrupted time. Um, so we'll talk later about my new travel project, but, uh, oh, I did meet a new stitchy friend. So oh, that's right. like I was doing my thing and doing my thing. <laughs> the flight attendant came by and she was like, oh, I cross stitched too. Mm -hmm. And she like ran to the front and she brought back her project. She is stitching a dimensions kit on a plane. On a plane. Like that just seems crazy to me. Like, yeah. She's more organized than she, we are. Much more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and she was, she was like maybe halfway done it looked like. So, um, but yeah, it was really nice to meet her. And then on another plane I was stitching and this person came up and told me they hated cross stitch. Oh, what? <laughs> She's like, it's too tedious. I've tried it. And I was like, oh, you know, I guess, yeah. You know, and then she told me how she sews and or knits all of her own clothes. And I was like, but that's not tedious. I guess you choose your tedious. <laughs> like you just... I didn't. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, but uh, she was super nice. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like, I did have a question for you, mm -hmm. and this might be dumb. Do trains have any kind of travel restrictions for like scissors and like stuff no. that flights do? It's good. Like, there's no security. And there's no like X-rays. There's no anything. You just can. Well, the trains I was on. Yeah. I think they have all that if you cross like the border into Canada or something. So I was just doing like. Like I took so no rules. The train from like New York to Long Island, and I took a train from New York to Albany, and then you could just like Portland to Tacoma <laughs> and Seattle. Bust out your machete to turn your floss or something. <laughs> no rules. They don't care. No rules. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought about that when you were talking about trains. Yeah. I didn't know. Nope. That's no funny. rules. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's so good. That's such a thank great you. Finish. Yeah. It looks and good. this was like the perfect size for travel. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if it was. You'll see this on just about everything I show. Uh, I think. Stephanie from Just Keep Stitching, and then you like just started doing with like the eight by eleven. Eight by elevens, like the hybrid, like genius. It's so it's just perfect. But like mm -hmm. fits in a little bag. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of mine like that. Yeah. Um. All right, and then yeah. If you saw our last episode, or if you saw really any episode, any um, episode, there's a lot of bird stitching that mm -hmm. happens. Uh, mostly, I'll call this Amity's influence, uh, but I have definitely. Uh, decided to uh, join the bird herd yes. and we were saying like oh it would be fun if we had a logo mm -hmm. or um something and then amity was like i'm gonna take that a step farther and make it further and make it even better even and better. has made us um patterns i did two patterns and then two patterns she stitched one up really fast so we could share it Mm -hmm. Well, she could share it. I'm not taking it. It's crap. my. It's a sap start and start finish. And, finish. and it's an FFO. Oh my gosh. Oh, she FFO'd something. Miracles happen. Yeah. Uh, I did. I went. I, okay. So I made a pattern. There are two versions. One says bird herd, mm -hmm. and one says bird nerd. Yeah. And I stitched up the bird nerd. And I think if you decided to do it, you were going to do herd, weren't you? I think I might make bird herd nerd. Okay, Jen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jen, Spooner and Stitcher, Jen likes um, bird herd nerd. Yeah, she uses hashtag. bird nerd. I think she uses bird. hashtag like bird herd and bird herd nerd. Okay. Anyway. I think. Amity's and made... I have a bird problem. It's like yes. her like thing. Amity has made two amazing patterns. Uh, well, I made two patterns. <laughs> so... Well, one pattern, literally 12 stitches change on it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. Bird nerd. I, I think it's fun. Love it so much. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, goodness. But, um, I guess just quick, like, this was stitched on 32 count white even weave. Um, antique white. Antique. Antique fancy. white. Yeah. She fits. Um, it's literally, it was like, I designed it one day and then I was like, I have to stitch this the next. So it was like in stash. This is what I had. Um, 11 colors of DMC. And just to give it, it's stitch count is 171 by 89. And there's 5,476 stitches. And 
we are offering this as a freebie. Yeah, so thank you. Yep. Well, no, thank it's you. good to celebrate your store and give out a pattern. It will celebrate this your store available and celebrate store. a store. That's true. Yeah. This was just like a freebie. Like, well, we were going to just make it. And I'm like, oh, it's a thousand. And I'm like, we're going to hit a thousand pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> so like, um, yeah. So oh. we need to figure out how to make it free. It's probably yeah. going to be like a gum road or link tree and Instagram. Like, yeah. We need to research. By the we'll time you out. see this, yeah. we will know what we're doing. It will hopefully. be out in the world. <laughs> It'll be, be out free. in the world. Yeah. And we'll put somewhere yeah. how you can get it. But yeah. Um, more time. And then Burner. Kylene at CCL Stitches had an amazing idea. Yes. And then so like later, later the next day, someone else commented with the same idea. Yeah. That we should have a bird herd sow. Mm -hmm. so. Just like an indefinite yes. bird herd sow. And not just obviously for this because oh, they no. didn't know about this, but any bird pattern. Any bird pattern. Yes. So uh, hashtag bird herd sow will be happening. Just ongoing. Yeah. I just want to see all the bird patterns. Yep. <laughs> Every single one. I'm surprised when I'll be like, hey, have you seen this? And she's like, no. I know. I'm always surprised when there's a new bird pattern. Mm -hmm. so, well, that you haven't seen. So, um, yes. Yes. So, thank, thank you, you so much. This is a way to, yeah. to say thank you. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. So, bird herd. Bird herd. We'll bird be, herd so, Yep. <laughs> um, all, all right. right. So, those are our finishes. Yep. Um, so, we are going to move on to starts. And we are going to start with Amity. Me, I'm here. Okay. My first start I have to show was Frederica by Carriage House Samplings. And I, I got a little bit of the border done, not very far. Um, but this is with MPI Silks. Oh, the, you like them? I am obsessed with them. Really? If I had all the money in the world, <laughs> I, would the lottery. Them, I would use them for everything. Like, they are just incredible. Incredible. Um, and it's, it was just so nice. I did switch this fabric. I had I've had this kitted up for a while with, um, I think just cream and sugar, uh, Lugana by Fiber on a Wham. But after we got the Bestitch Me fabric of the month last month, the vanilla latte, I switched it. So it was good timing. It was perfect. So they'll both be on that. How big? It, like, does the border? Is it going to oh, take up most of that? It is like, that cut to size? I yeah. want to say this is like the halfway points, okay. like here ish. So it'll be like, you know, thanks. Um, one thing about Frederica, and you'll see when we put the picture up, that one has a filled in, complete filled in border, but Frederick doesn't. And let, let's just say I want them to be the same. I just really don't want to stitch this whole thing filled in. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to make it match. There you go. So the, like around the diamonds. Yeah. Won't be filled in, but the diamonds will. But yeah. Very nice. I'm glad you like MPI silks. It's, they're so nice. Yeah. Do you have any? I don't. Don't have any. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I gave you one. In oh, the and I have it. So, yeah. When I, I kind of I got back into stitching. I think it was like we'll call it. It was early September because we went to something like that. Yeah. August, September. Yeah, something like that. I think it was early September. Yeah. Um, and then you know a couple months later, everyone started posting on Instagram and opening their advent calendars that they mm -hmm. bought, and I was, I had the worst like, I, don't know, I was envious of it. Um, I really wanted, I was like, oh man, next year. Cause you have to order them in what, like February. Yeah. Um, and Amity had the brilliant idea of like, oh, we should next year, we should make each other advent calendars, yes. um, with just like little, little something to open every day. And mm -hmm. I was like, or, or we can we do, do it this year. Now. <laughs> so we made each other advent calendars that ran from Christmas day to new year's. Mm -hmm. So kind of that time period where you're like, oh, Christmas is over mm -hmm. and just like, you know. It and was it, so fun. It was so much fun. We're talking about doing July. Yes, like a Christmas advent calendar in July. Just for each other. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I have to go back and pull I that in. I thought I did. If I didn't, I bought you one and didn't give it to you. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I did the same thing where we set a budget. Like, okay, this yeah. is like your budget for the whole thing. And then I was like, oh man, went over budget. So. You went over budget on like day one. No, I did not. I'm a good shopper. Okay. It was like Black Friday deals. I have it written down. I can prove it. Okay. So anyway, um, yes, Advent calendar is gray. We can get MPI silk. I think was mm, gray. That makes sense. I like gray. Okay. So um, yes, Advent calendars were fun. So uh, mm. okay, on to me. So um, when I was out and about on my travels, uh, I finished Quaker Bells a lot faster than I thought I would, mm -hmm. and uh, did not have had a project. A, I know, <laughs> and I had a streak going where I had stitched every day. 
uh, and I did not want to break that. So I went to, uh, I was in Tampa or Miami, Tampa, I was in Tampa and stopped at a Joy M Fabrics, which was gigantic. It was like, I've seen commercials before for Joy M, like especially mm -hmm. on you know, Floss Tube, how they'll pop up. And I'm like, that's like, that's not a real store. And this was that, I swear it was that store. Like it was huge. Like quilting machines and stuff. Yeah, right? like a whole section yeah. of sewing machines you could try. Ours was maybe a fourth of the size of it. Like it was, crazy. yeah, it was very nice. But so I went in and I just was like, okay, I'm going to take the you know simplest thing I can, I can get. I got just like this 18 count uh, DMC fabric that they had. Um, I, I had seen a quote from an author uh, named Andrea Gibson. Uh, they had a book that I haven't fully read, full disclosure, um, but just a quote from that book kind of got stuck in my head. Uh, so I had charted it really quickly, just something to something to stitch at some point. I so I just grabbed a DMC for that. And this gigantic Joanne Fabrics that had everything was out of 3799. <laughs> so oh gosh. <laughs> I picked a different gray, but um, just says, I suppose I love this life in spite of my clenched fist. Mm -hmm. uh, and then AG, their initials. Um, I, there's there's a border that will go around it. I just... We'll show the picture. Yeah, that's true. That you charted the whole thing. I did, and you yeah. designed it. It's so good. It's it's okay. I don't... Yeah. The border feels too heavy. I might change the border. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I just wanted something I could stitch. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Um, and yep. Yeah, from the fancy Joanne Fabrics in Tampa, Florida. So I'm going to start. Fancy Joanne. It's giant. Yeah. It's very large. Yeah. All right, the next start I had was like an impromptu start, kind of. I wasn't planning on it, but um, my husband and I celebrated our 28th dating anniversary in March. And I just felt like I wanted to do something to like mark the occasion. I charted this up about, again, like six years ago. It seems to be my trend. You were on like a charting I, streak then. I did, yeah. but I never did anything with it. Um, but you'll see, here, I'll put it over here so you can put the picture in. Mm -hmm. Um... I was calling this You Complete Me, and it's just a like a heart shape um, made out of cross stitch, like made out of X's, like it's a cross stitch. And I wanted to, my husband is not a stitcher by any means, like has no interest in it really at all, <laughs> but he's a good sport. So <laughs> um, you'll see in the picture, like I, I think I, I just had it as like, it's black, but one of the X's is red. So I'm going to do all of the black X's and then he's going to do the red X. Um, what if it's terrible? Of course it's okay. You... Okay. That's why it's a different color so people know it's not mine. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I picked, Aaron helped me pick out this um, thread works I had. And I think it's, I want to say 4091, but look 1041. at it. 1041. 1041? Mm -hmm. Okay. Numbers were kind of in the right order. Ish. Ish. Yeah. It's so pretty. Um, and you can see I'll hold it as close as I possibly can with my T-Rex arms. Like, it's got, it's, it's the variegation's so good. And I'm just letting it fall wherever it falls. I like it. I'm not, like, trying to make things, like, X's match or anything. But, um, so I don't know if I said this. This is on, I picked 18 count banana oil. And I did 18 counts. So I thought my husband would have an easier time than, like, on a Lugana. That's or very something. nice of you. Yeah. Um, and when I did, because you can't really see the fabric, but I did want to show it for oh, the bag. I'm sorry. Um, look, look at how pretty it is. It's got like a weird tail hanging down there. So that's the other half of it, but I love it. And I, we are, I'm just going to let him pick what color he likes. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Like, I, I mean, I'll show him this yeah. and like, we'll just see what he picks. Yeah. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. So that was my impromptu start. I like it. I'm planned. And you are 11.11% complete. All the ones. Oh, I loved that. Yeah. 11-11. Yeah. <laughs> 11, 11. Doesn't that, isn't that like supposed to be good luck or something? Oh, I don't know. I think it's like a, oh, make a wish. It's 11-11. Okay. Or 12, 2, 3, 4. Whatever. Or 12, 3, 4. Anyway. Um, okay. All right. My turn. So I started. This one's so good. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's from an up and coming designer called Boomerang Stitches. Um, I... This will kind of be the theme of my whips. I did not get as much done as I had hoped, except for my travel project. Which is done. <laughs> <laughs> well, my other oh, travel project. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this is Great White Christmas that Amity designed and released mm -hmm. in her shop. Yay. Um, I am stitching it on Dracula's Wallpaper by Steel City Stitchers. And then using this, like, 
It's a little bit bluer than it shows up on camera, but uh, it's called it's Blackboard by General Arts. So just it's like definitely a, bluer in person. Yeah, because when you showed me the picture, I was like, I thought it was dark gray. Yeah, but then when the floss came, I was like, that's yeah. definitely blue. You know, it's shark colored. Yeah, it's very sharky. Um, so yeah, I forgot to look at my percentage, but not very much um, mm -hmm. into this and. Uh, so Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe and um, Lollipop Stitches started a Santa Jaws Sal uh, that just started, I think, last week. So Something like that. not too late to join if you would like to. Um, like it's crazy. Yeah. That, like, Does it feel weird? It's so like, weird. There's a like Sal for something you designed. It's the weirdest feeling. Like I can't, I, just, I can't believe it. Like I know it sounds cheesy, probably to every to everyone, but no, I, I I get it. That would be. Like, like you said earlier, surreal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. I love that sound. Isn't it fun? I thought it would be a Halloween project that I stitched on it, but of course it worked out so well. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, and I got a little Jaws needle minder from um, Grandma Girl Designs. And I have a couple more in haul that I'll share. Um, so. I love Lolly seeing everyone. Pop Stitches is also doing yeah. the blood splatter with a light gray that's so pretty. And mm -hmm. she is like she flying, is flying through it. Making really good time. Yeah. And then um, Stephanie had, like... Her fabric's great, too. Oh, my gosh. If someone was, like, design a fabric that looks like the beach, like the sand and the water, hers is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, I, like, everyone, well, not everyone, I'm sure, but, like, so many people have posted me in their progress or, like, sent me images, and it's, I love it. Like, this is, I know I said in our finished parade, like, if I had done it now, I would change things. Like I would do things different. I would stitch on fabric I liked better at this time, you know? Yeah. And like seeing everyone else's like so much creativity, like it's kind of like that it just gone to like restitch it. Cause I get to see it oh, stitched so many times. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Like I love it. That makes it. sense. I love it so yeah. much. Um, and we did, I did want to, as a thank you, um, just for all like, so much support already. Like I announced it on Instagram. Um, I wanted to do a giveaway for both the shark, the mm -hmm. great white Christmas and for my other pattern, my flowers, which we'll insert, um, a picture of here ish. <laughs> okay. Um, and just, uh, I don't, think we need to do the whole rules about like no. 18 because it, it's, a, your address or... it's just a pdf so it would just be like you know just like say in your comment i think for great white christmas we're gonna use the word shark and for my flowers we'll say flowers yeah um and yeah it'll just be pdfs sent to you like no physical copy or anything will be sent um there's just three pdfs so all we need is email sounds so, good if you want to enter there you go. Yeah. You can win the shark and join the Santa Jaws Sal. You could. Yeah. So, all right. Now we're on to your next. Oh, Bittersweet Village. Start. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, another new start. I started with the bird. Weird. <laughs> um, this is Bittersweet Village by Hello from Liz Matthews. I think I said by Liz Matthews. Yep. Wrong. <laughs> um, and... This is stitched on 32 count gray mauve Lugana by Zweigart. And Erin actually gave me that. Yeah. She I, had bought it for what? Uh, potentially Garden of Zig. Yeah, for the Secret Sal yeah. and then changed my mind. Yep. So. Um, yeah, but I was excited. I, I started in the center and the center happened to be the bird. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Look, okay, can we comment on the world's tiniest cute snap? It's so cute. <laughs> and Erin made me the world's tiniest grime guard. Yeah. And I am obsessed, but I love it. I love it so much. It's so cute. <laughs> it's just so cute. Oh, and you can tell Erin's been traveling a lot. Yeah. Because I'm now forced to use bags I made <laughs> instead of like Which good is, bag. They're so lovely. Like, this is an old bag. Oh, the colors look crazy on it. Oh, yeah. Is that actually? Oh, it's actually what it looks like. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Um, there you go. All right. Um, <clears throat> so my next start, again, 8x11 Q-Snap, um, that I know I need to surge. Emily's going to be a surge snob about it. Um, uh, you pointed that out to me. I said I need to surge, yes. Um, so this is Festive Frosted Pumpkin Cottage uh, by the That's Witchy a... Stitcher. 
and I have a little light lamp post with a little ghosty. I love it. Um, it is on banana oil fabric that I love, like just really dark, like nighttime mm -hmm. kind of fabric. Uh, I started it on March 25th as a sal with our stitchy friend Alex, mm -hmm. who is on Instagram as at stitch Alex ONG. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using the called for DMC except uh, glow in the dark for the ghosts, and then on the little it's kind of hard to tell little Santa hat, I use the whispers kind of fuzzy thread. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's the cutest little pattern. Oh, there's like a oh, you'll see it, we'll put it up here. Yeah. But there's like a, a snowman made of pumpkins, mm -hmm. and yeah, everything has a Santa hat. And it's really cute. I it's haven't really seen it. Yeah. Oh, the little that's adorable. Yeah, it's a little whisper, little fuzzy hat. So, yep. Festive frosted pumpkin cottage. I had to practice that. That's all. Yeah, that's it's hard to say. Yeah. Alliteration, yeah. right? It's a lot of alliteration. A little bit, yeah. Okay. All right. My next one. I finally started. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Your birds. The Talon Emblem birds. Um, these are four patterns, which we will put here. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot think of the names off the top of my head. Like one's yellow warbler. Oh, that's right. Um, we can do it. Yeah, there's we'll like post, yeah. cardinal, blue jay. Anyway, yeah. they're four different birds, um, but I am putting them all together, and I started in the middle, so like each one of these is going to be an individual pattern coming off, but this is stitched on Picture This Plus 32 Count Lugana in the color Helix, and it's not really showing up. I've been trying to find a gray fabric for this for over a month, probably, yeah. to start it, and like what I had was either way too dark, way too light. And I found this, and it had a little bit more modeling than I was, mm -hmm. like, picturing, but I liked the color, so. Yeah. Are those, yeah. like, fancy flosses with very... Oh, okay. No, it's them. all... Um, well, it's, the patterns aren't all DMC. They're... I appreciate. They're very selective with their fancy floss. Like... Oh, that's good. There's, like, maybe two or three for each pattern, and it's, like, the bird's body. Yep. Or, you know, stuff where, like, you really get the most impact. And, like, like this is all DMC. Like... This one and this one have one color, and these two have like three colors each. But I'm excited, and this was the one that was inspired by Jen again. That's right, Spooner and Stitcher. Stitcher. Or Stitcher. Stitcher. Oh gosh, it'll be here. Sorry, Jen. <laughs> I think I wrote Stitcher. Spooner and Stitcher. Stitcher. Like she said, it'll be up there. Yeah. Either way, we love you, Jen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry to mess that up, um, but her finish that we showed couple videos yeah back. in the window we'll pop it in again there you go right here um i just instead of trying to find a window i found i just wanted to stitch it all in one piece so but thank you for the inspiration again in a bag that i had to make i made six years ago it's not like i was out like making them but okay all right your last start my last start this one um Okay, so I don't, I don't, you know, I know a lot of people do like fan stitching, like of like, is that what you would call it? Sure. Like fan stitch? Yeah. Um, of like different things they like, movies, books, TV. Like I don't really do a lot of that. I know I did my like Handmaid's Tale quote, but that was also like, uh, okay, this is back to my ska days. <laughs> was it that, that quote like a toaster song? I, I think so. If it's not, my husband's going to be disappointed that I oh, not remember what this up. is. But anyway, so. Yeah, pick it up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, um, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's like the most fan, fan stitch I've done. So I designed, again, a long time ago, this sampler um, for my favorite TV show. And I'm not going to say what it is. I'm gonna see if anyone can guess what it is just based off of this like one motif I have done. I think it would just be fun to see the comments to yeah. see if anyone knows. Like it's not like, I don't think a real obvious one. Um, I don't know. But I will put up like the, the design, like we'll put up the image. Yeah. Cause like I have this clear and then I'm gonna blur out everything else. Just to show the size, like it's giant. It's like, I think like 16 by 20 or. Oh gosh. I oh, my it's so big. oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is like 800 and something stitches right here. It's I'm just going to say it's not the flash. Not the flash. No. No. Um, but yeah, I just, 
it's going to be a full coverage piece with like different motifs and quotes from my favorite TV show. So That's if great. you have any guesses, I would love to hear them. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So leave them down below. All right. That's All it. Right. Now we are on to whips. Whips of the week. Whips of the whip of the week. A whip of the week. Yeah. So, um, Amity and I, or someone like <laughs> in our families, yes. um, choose a whip for the other person to not a not an official focus project. Just like mm -hmm. give a little bit more attention to uh, b between that show or a show that episode show. and our next episode. <laughs> um, so last week, my nephew. Uh, chose Cabin in the Woods mm -hmm. for me to work on. So, Cabin you in the Woods by far. Starcy Girl Designs. Again, not as much as I wanted, but um, so this basically from this door over is new. That's, a, that's like half. That's like a, like. Did you double? It's four oh, percent. Okay. I went from twelve to sixteen. Okay. So and then I put some more of these little rocks in down here, and I promised myself that I once I finish the rocks, I can do the skunks because they only yes. hang out over here. Yes. So I need to do the flower pots rocks and then I can stitch some skunks and there's a lot mm -hmm. more there's more ducks too so um 16 count fog ada by picture this plus uh it is a full conversion just kind of used whatever I had in the stash mm -hmm. um and another project that a uh, sal that uh alex who is again mm -hmm. at stitch alex ong is stitching with us so mm -hmm. uh yeah that's my cabin in the woods I love it I'll have to show uh them when they're back since he picked it Yes, he yeah. would love to see it. Okay. So, and then Amity's Whip of the Weeks. I'm going to help her unroll here. Um, Aaron's husband. That's right. right. Yeah. Picked... Just based, like, he just looked at names. He didn't yeah. see patterns. I'm going to um, try and unroll it a little and bit. He chose yeah. Ruby the Giant Ruby Squid. Ruby the Giant Squid, which is by Emily Peacock Tapestry. I didn't show you. <laughs> it's an eyeball. Um, Emily Peacock Tapestry. I. I love, I love this. Like, I'm obsessed with it. But it's very hard for me to work on because I have never stitched with anchor wool until now. So I don't know how it's just look. So what I have done is an eyeball. <laughs> it's an eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> I had the pink and then I added this, like, eyeball. Um, but I was getting in, like, a groove. Like, I feel like it, oh, yeah, it's looking good. a little better. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not, like, even. If anyone has any tips on how to stitch with seven count canvas with um anchor wool and I did grab a thing because oh, I know yeah. like I wasn't sure last time I said it but this is what comes in the kit I purchased the kit off of Etsy um it's anchor tapestry wool and it says 10 m on it oh 10 meters 10 meters is that like the length or is that the yeah. gauge I like, didn't know if it was like a gauge for no I think the the what See, I know before. nothing about this. Oh, and I'm just, I think 10 m is just 10 meters. Okay, ignore that. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Or sport weight wool. And there's like, I'm sure a knitter or a crocheter out in the world would be like, oh yeah, it's blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, it's so obvious. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. this is one of my favorite colors it came with. So that's why I picked this one out. But, so that's what it uses. And it's, the needles are like this big. That's <laughs> giant. <laughs> they're, they're ridiculous, but. I had a lot of fun with that one. Good. So, I'm thank glad. you to Aaron's husband. Mm -hmm. If you Good never choice. watched this, probably no. no. But I'll let him know. That. Thank you. Yeah, I. It was a lot of fun. Good. I'm gonna just drop that on the floor because I don't know what else to do with it. <laughs> Running out of space. Yeah. Um, and then our next um, project, our whip that we're both working on, is Garden of Zig. So mm -hmm. it is our secret sal um, that basically like we chose pattern. Garden mm -hmm. Zig yep. by Ink Circles. Uh, you can not use any of the called for floss or fabric, so you choose all of your own. Mm -hmm. uh, you stitch it, and then at the end, May 31st, we will have a reveal. So yep. um, we have a lovely group of people in so there. It's amazing. The chat. So much fun. Yeah. Everyone's so much fun. And we keep adding people. We added yeah. someone today. Like, yeah. it's not too late. I think they said, can you add me? I'm going to like power stitch it or something. <laughs> like, um, yeah. It's never too late. You know, you yeah. can start the day before if you are the fastest stitcher. You can change your colors <laughs> like I oh, did yesterday. Oh, that's right. You told me you changed I changed it. one. Yep. Well, you changed two, I thought. Well, I, I changed one that I had stitched. So I had to frog some. And it mean, okay. that meant changing another one. So, But I had not stitched yet. So, okay. um, so yeah, definitely not too late to join. And um, Stephanie from Cross Stitch the Globe 
had like a really good point that like, hey, if you join today, you would only need to do this many stitches a day. Mm -hmm. And I think if you join, if you started today, you'd only have to do like 120 stitches a day. Oh, did you figure it out? Yeah. Okay. So that's nice. Feels doable. And what is today? So people. <laughs> oh, that's a good call. Today is March, Sunday, March 31st. Yeah. So. Um, so two months exactly. Yeah. Okay. We have two months left. There you go. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So uh, next up for me. So I got the hang of my travel stitch and it was like perfect to do like a really small kind of project. So I was like, oh, why not? Do a long dog sampler. <laughs> I can't believe. Objects. Um, so I started. But it seems very manageable. Oh yeah, and I mean, you, you just got a bunch up. of fabric tucked up. So yeah. again, eight by eleven. It's like a secret. Um, so this is a long dog sampler rouge de sex. Mm -hmm. um, it is from the book. Hold on a second. Yep. Look what I remembered to bring over. The book. The book. Yep. So Amity is very kindly letting me stitch oh. from the book. Yeah. Um, so it is on 16 count Space oh Rock Ada from the Stitch Me, uh, and a mix of silks and cotton. Um, the so the dark is Night Stalker's Calling. The gold and the pink are both from Silks for You, and then there's like the grayish in there is a color and cotton uh, Winter Prairie. But that pink, that pink is I can't amazing. even tell you how bright it is. It's it's <laughs> the most amazing thing ever. It's very it's bright, like the hottest hot pink. Um, I'm glad you yes. picked that one. You had like I had a different one. Several, it was not as bright. several contenders that yeah. just didn't make the cut. Nope, not bright enough. I'm gonna show this because this is the paint. It's not oh, showing yeah. the pattern or anything, but this is what the one Aaron stitching. Look at that pair. Yep. And I love the like. So the full quote is, "So many gods, so many creeds, so many roads that wind and wind." Oh. While well, just the art of being kind is all the sad world needs. Yeah. So I, I love like it. how it's divided up. Like yep. what your stitching you started at the top and the yeah. other half is yeah. down there. So I'm doing words and gold, critters will all be pink, and then the blue and gray, just kind of winging it on the on the rest of it. You made so much progress. It's a good travel stitch because it's only four colors. Yeah. So you don't need a ton of like floss. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. Yes. Look at you. So that was my travel stitch. Okay. Um, and I did. We'll pause here for another giveaway. Yes. Um, okay. I had a I was very excited to be home for an, an extra day two days off two days, two days in a row weekend. yeah um so got a little bit of time to sew mm -hmm. so I uh, wanted to again wanted to celebrate having a thousand followers we're so grateful um so made uh matching project bags yeah. for a couple that we had to give away so um there's kind of one to represent each of us so yeah Amity so has you picked one. your fabric I picked my fabric yep you did all the stitching all the cutting everything I just picked fabric I like to remind. <laughs> she shopped for fabric and then I um, well from your stash that's either. true yeah <laughs> I did nothing in this um, um so yeah Amity's is of course birds yes with... so this is the one actually if you watched last video you saw we that's will true. be bag twins yeah um so this one has like a fun like sparkly kind of cross stitch background with the Aaron's favorite sparkle My favorite emoji emoji mm -hmm. And then the best part, the birds. birds. Yep. So um, I will do the official giveaway rules for this since we are mailing something. Um, oh, yes, for sure. So you have to be over 18, okay. so you can give us your address. Um, we'll ship anywhere. Mm -hmm. We don't, wherever's fine. Um, and then please, in your comments, do not say giveaway or win or free. Is that one of them? I don't uh, say free. Okay, don't, don't say know. giveaway or win. Um, I don't know. And yeah, they're trolls are real. Oh yeah, and then I made one that I thought, so we can be bag twins representing me. So um, just like bright neon, but then also some like gray to go with it. So one side is these flowers and then the other side is just like super bright kind of cross stitch. Um, and the- Do you remember the designer of the fabric? I think it's a tulip pink. But not I'll to, not to put you on the spot, but I, I knew it was something like. It's either tulip pink or ruby star society. Well, I'll put it up here. Maybe. Um, okay. Yeah. And then if you are an anti-vinyl person, and I, we, someone very kindly told us like, hey, your patterns can stick. Mm -hmm. um, it does have an extra pocket so you can put oh, patterns yeah. behind there and too. put all your other stuff in the front. 
Yay for pockets. It has pockets. Pockets. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, if you would like to win the bird bag. The bird bag. Please use the word sparkle. Sparkle. And if you'd like to win this bag, use the word bright. Bright. Yeah. So Sparkle and bright. And we'll say thank you again yeah. for subscribing. Mm -hmm. so. And thank you for making them. Of course. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. All right. Back to Yay. lips. Okay. Um, let's set these off to the side. Yeah. I don't want to get them messed up. Okay. I'll rearrange real fast. Okay. Next whip is Grace and Peace by the Outs. The outsy? It happened! I can't say no. <laughs> right. By the Artsy Housewife. Yep. Um, and these are two of her patterns. Uh, this is stitched on 32 count Cream and Sugar Lugana by Fiber on a Whim. All the called for floss. And I had a goal. I had piece, or no, I had Grace done last, which is that bird side. My goal was to get the house done on this side, and I got a little more. Yay! I like went past my goal. But this is the end, like this is the full width. Yeah, right there. So that's an I excellent like Franken stitch. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love a good Franken stitch. I'm glad that you pointed that out because it yeah. describes it perfect. Um, do I throw this thread on Please you? Please do. You usually do. <laughs> um, I did have a couple people reach out about this. Um, I said like they were gonna stitch it together and didn't know how I was gonna handle the words that are in the pattern or the other floral motifs. And I realized I probably wasn't clear. Like when I was describing it, like I'm not putting those in this stitch. I'm just doing the, like what, literally what you see, like this yeah. will be it. Um, but I am, the floral motif in Grace was literally one of the reasons I bought the pattern. So I'm gonna do that as like a small or like a oh, separate, nice. yeah. separate stitch. Cause I definitely wanna stitch that, but yeah. That's it. And I don't know. I don't have a percentage because I mixed. That's right. I just well, know you're over what? 50. That's all you're I know. I'm going to say 75 because you've got three, like that bottom. Well, no, because there's like some stuff. There's a star uh, and leaves and stuff. 65. 65. 65%. 65%. That sounds reasonable. Yep. Throw it on the pile. <laughs> oh, you can see the pile like accumulating oh. in the corner. <laughs> uh, all right. My next uh, whip is Mulberry Trees by Darling and Whimsy Designs. Um, it is on lightly salted, not roasted, 14 count Ada by Bestitch Me, uh, with called for floss. Uh, I think I did have to sub one thing just because I didn't have it. Um, maybe it's, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and it worked out very well because I wanted to work on this. And then, um, the pick a whip for, from the 15th from Marjorie Made was to stitch on something that has fruit on it or something that has a food. And I had to Google it, but mulberries are edible. There, there you go. So counts. Um, and so I added the border, added this flower and this little crown. And don't know my percentage because it did not, it was like a pattern keeper. It was like, no, yeah, not, not taking it. Um, but yeah, Ooh, it's good progress though. It's That's a fun, it's good. a fun stitch. Yeah. Like I need to, and I, I need to move my cue snap. So that's where I was like, okay, pause, <laughs> pause, pause on that. Yeah. You know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. Not for that. Yeah. Um, we never picked our whips of the week. Did we do that? That's in plans. Oh, I thought we did it like right away. Mm -hmm. Never mind. We're, we're still on track. Yep. Again. We're so tired. We're just organized this time. <laughs> but we're getting okay. there. Yep. Oh, it's literally like two lines away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, okay. Your whip. Um, my last whip was one that I feel like I show every time, but it's, hold it. um, if you want to, okay. The pointed fifth. Let me know. Uh, go up, uh, go back. <laughs> Whoop, that's good. That's perfect. Okay. Um, so my goal from last video to this video was to get this red column done and I did. So that's all the red. That's all the red. The red column is done. Yay. Um, and this is the bottom. I still have like to backstitch. Like I only done one row across, but. So this is the pointed fifth by Long Dog Sampler, and the frame is three seven nine nine. The rest of the colors are Cosmo Floss. Yep. And it's how many colors total? Forty two. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and I did have someone reach out. You can put it down. Okay. If you want. I did have someone reach out asking for the 
the list of falsities, the color conversion, and happy to provide that if anyone wants it. Yeah. Um, it's not like it's a secret, you know. <laughs> um, happy to provide that. I will say, as a cautionary tale, mm -hmm. I like to do those apparently. Mm -hmm. um, I ironed this today, and I assumed Cosmo Floss was color safe. Oh, no. but the, I always like iron with a thin, like white towel or white like cloth. Like this is tea towel bones on it. It was one of mom's. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, but like a tea towel kind yeah. of yeah. And when I went over the red, like the towel has red stains on it. Oh no. Okay. So nothing happened to Good an to actual know. piece, but the t so yeah. I don't know if it's something with the Cosmo. I need to look that up because I don't want to be like it's not color safe. I don't know. Yeah. But there was red on the towel. There you go. Be careful when you iron. That's yeah. the it's so pretty. I love it. Still gonna, this year, that's my goal. <laughs> I, like, I think I've said this before, but like hitting, like we know where the bottom is now. Like it yeah. feels I almost like the end is like, inside, even though it's- Close, like do the whole border and close it oh, in. That always nice. helps my brain. That would be a nice feeling, yeah. yeah. So I might yeah. do that. But when just, did you, do you remember when you started that? Just like approximately. This was my new year's, um, new year's new start for last year. Okay, for 2003. 23. 2023. <laughs> I was like, you're looking at me like it's, it's like wrong, and that's right. Close. <laughs> I've been working on this for 21 years. We're gonna tie it 20. What's the Titanic quote? Like, it's been 84 years. <laughs> that's not even the right math. 21. That's wrong. She started that January 1st, 2023. That's right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It looks Ooh. amazing. Thank you. Um, okay, last whip. So oh, nice. um, I am working on a sampler for my mother, Quaker Style by RETM uh, mm -hmm. on 14 count eucalyptus from Atomic Ranch Fabrics. Uh, and I'm just kind of winging it. So each mode's treating each motif like it's its own thing, uh, mm -hmm. not doing any of the called for. Um, so this is my new motif over here, this little one with like the years. And the one thing I am keeping constant, the um, the darkest green, I'm, I'm doing the same. So if it's, okay. it, it had the most stitches mm -hmm. in the pattern. So if it's, if it's anywhere, I am using that. And that is Erin Go Emerald. Um, mm -hmm. cause my name is Erin. I was going to say, why'd you pick that? And, well, and Emerald was, <laughs> it was um, a beautiful color too. And her birthstone. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just kind of, kind of winging it on that. And my goal is to do a motif a month. Mm -hmm. So if that happens, great. If it doesn't happen, it's looking so good. Thank you. It's so good. Uh, and I snuck, well, so her birthday would have been February 2nd, so snuck this one in, just did those both in February. So I'm a motif ahead, technically. Oh. So if I get behind, I won't, math. won't feel too bad about it. Yeah. <laughs> My head is still. Yep. Um, so yeah, that is mm -hmm. a good one. It's going to be Love big. Love it. It's beautiful. But thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Those are whips. So mm -hmm. uh, now we are on to plans. Now we will do now? whip of the works. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. So, um, I, I'll go first. So, okay. uh, Amity sent me her kind of list of whips, mm -hmm. and I wanted to pick something that we haven't seen in a while. Okay. So, that was my... Um, I'm excited. Yeah. And I picked, or chose, Shahrazad's Dream. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Big one. You guys are picking giant ones. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite as big as Ruby. Yeah. But, yeah. No, I love You're that picking one. picking giant ones. Yeah, we saw the... Like we were at keepsakes, we had already checked out, and then saw the model there, and it it is large, it's, like it's yeah. so pretty. Uh, and then Andy's like, "Yeah, I gotta get back in line." Like, <laughs> like I think we said before, it was like the third time we had yeah. checked out that, that yeah. time. I was like, oh, I yeah. have to get this. Um, so yeah, she oh, that'll be stream. Yeah, that I can't remember if it's on. Is that on forty six? I do not. I don't remember. know. I just know the motif. I did was like this big, adorable little flower. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Yeah. Cabin in the woods. <laughs> I, I am choosing myself. Okay. My, both of my children have picked. And, and they I both pick picked Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you might be tired of it, but I really want to see Borealis Fox. <gasps> Yay. No, I love that. Okay. I, yes, I love Borealis Fox. I love it so much. And okay. I just thought it would be good. Excellent choice. Yay. Yeah. Um, okay, so that will be our unofficial focus piece until April 20th, I think. Is it the next time we film? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so or the other... next time we film a normal floss tube. There you go. Mm -hmm. Hey yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
um, other plans. So uh, tomorrow, April 1st, uh, I am going to start Quack Quack Honk by Erin um, Elizabeth Designs. And uh, so I saw Jen from Jennifer underscore Bard Al Stitcher on Instagram, who is in the secret cell mm -hmm. uh, with us, uh, posted a picture of that pattern and I just bought it instantly. Uh, it is so cute. We'll put a picture Yeah, up. it'll be up yeah. there. Um, and I, I thought it was so funny because my husband always categorizes birds as either quackers, honkers, or tweeters. <laughs> That's like the classification oh, system. Okay. So it had quack, quack, quack honk. honk. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so. <laughs> I've never heard him say that. Yeah. It's uh, like, oh, there's a lot of quackers. Or, there's some tweeters. <laughs> Very scientific mm -hmm. around our house. Mm -hmm. Um, but so we are starting that April 1st, tomorrow, Monday, April 1st, and we are calling it the April Fowl's Day Sal. Oh my gosh, right. that's adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. Yes. So, yeah, April Fowl's Day oh. Sal. It's not too late to get in on it. Does it have to be that pattern to use that Sal? To use the hashtag for the I, Sal? Uh, Never mind. I, I will check with Jen. I don't think, no, I think okay. we would be fine with other Fowl being stitched. I know what you're thinking of. You do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. It'll be in hall. You'll yeah. see it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to start that tomorrow. That's the best. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We're pretty excited. Okay. So kudos to Jen for the uh, enabling there because I had never mm -hmm. seen that pattern. So It's good. It's a really good one. Yeah. Okay. Um, my, the next start I will have will be, I think on the 5th. I always, start, I think it's a Wednesday, the first, win or the third. Third. First Wednesday of the month mm -hmm. um will be turtle doves by pigeon coop designs and it's the second that he has done <laughs> of um the 12 days of christmas series and we'll put a picture up so yeah i'm excited yeah. to start that yep yeah. uh and then on the fifth mm -hmm. the femurs and fungi cell um by fine frog stitching mm -hmm. the frame will be released on the fifth so okay. you get to stitch some gold i know i'm excited yeah. i need to do i'm gonna do it I think a color or like stitch from stash on it. So oh, I need okay. to pick. I need the and I did gloss for it too. This was part of haul, but I did pick this fabric, which is plum. Yes, by pretty by Barma and that's really pretty. Which I might use. This says a little darker. Oh, oh yeah, look, dark, at that. look at that dark spots. Yeah, I don't know, but so I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, and you're gonna use the other one. At one point, you had like a couple. I do mine. have a couple. I had, well, I ordered one. Um, it's like pinker because they had said you can use like darker like pinks or purples or just avoid like browns and grays and because it does you know, the floss color the femurs and the fungi yeah um so I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna do a floss toss I need to pull it off later when I get home but nice. I'm leaning towards that purple I think it's really pretty that's I mean yeah. it's really pretty yeah yay yay um and then my next bird start yeah for next month is Thomas by Kathy Barrick uh, I have this had it kitted up for a while and I'm just going to do the DMC. I can't remember what it's the DMC that, you know, is recommended yeah. in the pattern. I can't remember what the actual called for floss was, but yeah. Okay. Um, and then I, again, I saw this pattern and I think I'm going to sneak it in. Um, it would be a good travel stitch if I wanted to be, uh, but it is by sleepless stitcher on Etsy and it says clean your mouth bones. So oh, you said, I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> yeah. I want to mm -hmm. stitch it just to put it in the bathroom because I think it's adorable. Mm -hmm. um, and I will, of course, uh, add a gold tooth. I, Obviously. Whenever I can. Obviously. Yeah. Um, so like yeah. the shark pillow you made my son. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super cute, like shark mouth. and Or the mouth is open and she yeah. put a gold tooth. Yeah. I'm going to put a gold tooth on the Great White Christmas as well. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. it. So... Um, but you know, here, we'll put a picture of the pillow, so. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. take a picture. Yeah. You can steal it off his bed. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and then you've got a few more starts. I do. Another bird stitch, a Franken stitch. There you My go. My favorite. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't remember if it was last month or last month, last video in haul, the Robin's Pickens designs, but I'm going to start that, and I am going to stitch them all together. Nice. All right, did you, are you in one by four or are you in two by two? I debated. I think one by four. I like one by four. I think yeah. it'll look really nice framed. Yeah. Yeah. Fun size. Yeah. Um, so I'll put it here. Kind of mock, maybe I'll mock it up the four. Yeah. I'm going to do it here. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. More and, for you. Well, I have one more. It's undecided. Oh, okay. Because I know I have oh, something right. here. Yeah. But every other thing besides the femurs and fungi or fungi, femurs and fungi, everything else is birds. So I'm like, I'm just going to do another bird. It'll be, it'll celebrate our bird herd sal. There you go. Yep. It'll just be all the month. Kickoff. I'm just going to do yeah. all month birds. And I'm going to, I think, do a, like an Instagram poll of what I should start. So I'm not 100% sure. Maybe like two different patterns that yeah. I'll, I'll put up and have people choose. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you're going to try South Sundays. I try again. Okay. It did not work out. The bird nerd, bird herd design kind of threw things off a right. little bit. So um, I did not get to do South Sundays. But yeah. Garden okay. of Zig and South Sundays. Yeah. I did not get to do L4 Friday. I didn't either. Yeah. I didn't stitch on any of them. <laughs> this is the week everything changes. Yeah. We'll make it work this time. We are going to be. Yeah. Yeah. Super so organized. organized. So organized. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to do a quick recap of giveaways yeah. just so mm -hmm. we have all the words. Mm -hmm. And then we have a secret. One more giveaway. We're gonna One more in. surprise giveaway yeah. for those of you that have made it this far. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we'll do haul. So yeah. uh, if you don't care about giveaways or don't like haul. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. um, so really fast recap. The great white Christmas pattern from Boomerang Stitches. If you would like to win that, you're going to put shark. Yeah. Uh, my flowers pattern, uh, you'll put flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, Amity's, pro well, Amity's. Oh, you have it. I was going to show it yeah, again. Yeah, I was but like, it's over there. The bird um, project bag. The bird project bag with the sparkles. There we go. You're going to put sparkle. Um, and then the other project bag that... Is bright with the I think that's echinacea. Wow. That's what the plant is. Um, you will put bright, yep. and then we want to do one more giveaway mm -hmm. again just to thank everyone. So, um, Annie, because there were so many people in the last that's one true that like wanted banana oil fabric. Yes, so I will also sacrifice one. Mm -hmm. One, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Aaron did one. I'll do there one. There you go, kept it even. Yeah, um, so Amity has a 40 count. Yes. That, uh, do you want to show it? I can't. She's going to... This is a 40 count Verdal, and it's 19 by 25.5. Oh, it's the normal size. Yeah. Whatever. Um, yes, it's gorgeous. And I have a very similar one. Yes. From banana oil. <laughs> so, uh, but I, it's so pretty. So pretty. Yeah. So if you would like to win that, yeah. put a 40. 40, four yeah. Yeah. I picked 40 because we didn't have a 40 in the last time. So it kind Smart. of includes everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Another group of stitchers that there might have felt left out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, yes, we will um, let those run in the comments for the next three weeks and we'll choose right before our next video. So, mm -hmm. uh, if you can get that comment in by end of day on the 19th, that'd be good. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Cool. Uh, all right. So, that's giveaways. Now we are on to haul. Mm -hmm. um, so, so much. Long yes. haul. <laughs> for the long haul. For the long haul. She's not kidding. Yeah. Um, so we have, well, our fabric of the month will be here tomorrow. So we'll talk about that next time. Yeah. Um, or Bestitch Me. Bestitch Me, yes. Sorry. Fabric of the month, Silk of the month. We're both mm -hmm. in those. Um, and then, so the one really fun thing about traveling so much is that mm. I've like carved out a little time to go to needle workshops in the places where I was. So mm -hmm. um, I, the first thing or first place I got to go was to uh, the Crafty Framer in Tampa, Florida, and they're doing things out of order. But I'll oh, I'm sorry, you wanted to do your. No, I'll just to you. Nope, nope, we're good. You do. <laughs> Amity had some one, two, three stitch haul. Well, we're gonna do one, two, three stitch. One, two, what? what? <laughs> that wasn't even words. I was just like, Ugh. one, two, three stitch, mm -hmm. and then keepsakes, and then we were gonna do your travels. Yep, right? that's it. What Amity said. Okay, one, two, um, three stitch. Yeah, one, two, three stitch. So I had just bought a couple of patterns and a few pieces of fabric. Um, I got a couple of the market releases. Market. Oh my gosh, I just spaced on that. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> We're going to get through this. We're so close. <laughs> um, market releases, but floral etchings too. I have the first one and I'm going to be stitching them together. Oh, look, the first one is on the back. That's oh, nice. I mean, just, yeah. it's not included, but it just shows it on the back. And I want to stitch them together, of course. Mm -hmm. So, that's going to happen. Um, and then I got Michelle Bendy Stitchies uh, Pocketbook Peacocks. So pretty. Yeah. I had a 
fabric for this picked out in my head the other day. Now I can't think of it. Oh, Hold on. no, I was going to put it on that. Oh, is that crazy? I was thinking your banana oil that looks like that. It would blend in. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. This might be crazy. You're looking at it weird. Is it weird? I think it's pretty. Okay, so I got these in the same shipment. This is um, 32 count Lugana even weight and color jalapeno. Oh, that shows up crazy. Or is that the actual? That's the, I don't know. That's the color it is. <laughs> is this crazy? You think it's a little bit too green? I don't know. I'm gonna yeah, do floss toss. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna do a floss, floss toss. I'm gonna do a stitch from stash. I feel like Michelle would appreciate that because she yeah. does that all like all the time. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a stitch from stash and maybe use this if I'm crazy, tell me. Like you're not gonna offend me. If this is too much, just I, let me know. I need to see the floss toss. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's the thought. That's the okay. thought. Um then I got one of the new releases for Fiber on a Limb, Malachite. And That's it's really, a really pretty. pretty green. Mm -hmm. Really pretty green. And then picture this plus 32 count. That was also 32 count. Yeah. I don't know if I said that. Um, brash, which is really pretty. I love that. I'd never seen that before. Uh, I hadn't either. Yeah. And then picture this plus 32 count Mystic. So I guess I don't have to show you. <laughs> sticker side <laughs> um i probably did that on all of them um yeah so they're just fun no plans just gonna just gonna have them in stash there you go. yep it's a good range of colors for stash yep. yeah yeah uh now yeah. we're talking about keepsakes. keepsakes so we last time we filmed we like literally walked away left a pile of everything and went to keepsakes, and we keepsakes. <laughs> because we were like we started early Laughed for about an hour and a half. Yep. And then it was running filmed. really late. Yeah. And so we were like, what time did they close? And we're like, oh, we got to go. And it was like, we yeah. were going to have like 10 minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit longer, but yeah. So we do have a keepsakes haul. You yep. left most of yours at the house, I, your house yeah, right? Yeah, I did. Um, I did bring, so I, I really enjoyed stitching the Quaker Bells, especially, again, sorry, I'm talking nonstop about travel, but um, it was really good. Cool right now. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good size. Um, so I got the Home Sweet Home Quaker. Uh, by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. Love it. Uh, and I, I just think it's so cute. And the colors are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a little cat. Is that about the same size as Quaker Bells? Yeah. yeah. It's, um, yeah, really close. Within just a couple of stitches. So, so it'll fit in your 8 It's perfectly in an 8 by 11 I was going to say, it'll fit in your 8 by 11 yeah. Awesome. Uh, and I also, I got some, like, bright neon green fabric that I forgot to bring. So I'll show it next time. Is it like jalapeno? No. It is, like, full neon. Oh. Like, Oh, the one from Keeps. I know what you're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's like brighter yeah. than this. Yeah. All right. My keepsakes haul. We picked and choose. Like pick, picked and chose. Picked and choose. Oh my gosh. Cherry picked. Hold on. Anyway, I'm not showing everything. Yeah. That would be a video in its own. Oh my gosh, Aaron. In and of itself. We got this. <laughs> We're almost there. Home We're almost there. Um. So the first one is a favorite between Aaron and oh, I. Yeah. Um. Le Pole? Mm -hmm. Sure. Pink Keep by Stacey Nash. I just call it Nash. Party Bird. Party Bird! Look, it's hat. This might be one of the contenders to start. I don't know. Is that a, I, that could be good for April Fowl's Day. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I was seeing that one. Oh, you were? Yeah. Oh, it would be good, but... Because you were going to put it on your fabric that you just got, your brash? Anyway. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. Yeah, I like looked at this. What do we think about this, everyone? I know it's like a little more green and yellow than the model, but anyway, uh, it. yeah. Down below, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Cut that out. So <laughs> Cut it out. I don't like it. <laughs> Stop. Smash that like button. <laughs> Please don't ever. Smash. Oh my god. Okay, we're back. Okay. Yep. Go. Anyway, this is a contender for yes. what? So maybe. I love it. I love Party Bird. Party Bird. All right. Um, this is by the Artful Offering, and it's Winter Pears, and I think it was a market release. I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember. I could be wrong. Yeah. If it's not, it's just a pattern I hadn't seen. But I thought it was in like they had it all divided out. 
Yeah. Could have, I don't know. It would look very nice on vintage country mocha. I'm putting it on something else already. Never mind. Remember? Mm -hmm. I can't remember the color, but I already did a floss toss. Okay. Okay, this is by JBW Designs, Flights of Fancy Italian, 1801. I love it. I still have to, we still have to start the other one. Eliza's French Birds. Yes. Yeah. I have so it kitted up and I haven't started it. Yeah. I think I kitted that one up too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then Teresa Kogut. Kogut? Did I say that right? Yay. Creative Whims. Um, this is Wherever There Are Birds. Birds. Are you going to do the words? No. I don't think so. <laughs> I do love words, mm -hmm. but wherever you there should... are birds, there's hope. You should you put a different quote on it. Maybe. You wanted me to just write birds. Birds. <laughs> Real big birds. Um, we'll like see. Yeah. We'll see. I like both of those. I'll probably end up doing both at some point. Wait. Oh, I... There's two different designs. Oh, I didn't even see the back one. Yeah. See. Oh, that's really fun. Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't know which one I'll do first. I want to see what's behind there. I know. <laughs> I could just look at the pattern. Secret chart. Yeah. All right. And then I got by Ink Circles, Sumatran Lace, which I think I'm going to do in this Night Stalker calling Disgruntled Pelican. Hint. Hint. This has something to do with my favorite TV show, Disgruntled Pelican, from the, the other stitch. Um, and then we both got one of these. Yes. Uh, calling birds. It's so cute. Yeah. Satsuma Street Ornament. It's adorable. It's my first one of hers that I've bought. It's my first anything Satsuma Street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you mm -hmm. haven't done any patterns. I love her patterns. I've just never done them. Yeah. And then I got three pieces of fabric that I'll just show to you today. For the, trying to save time. Sake of time. <laughs> Sake of time. <laughs> Um, this is 32 count linen by fibers, or sorry, by fabrics by Stephanie called Nature's Dance. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's fun. It's so pretty. Yeah. Good colors. I like that there's a mix of like browns and greens and warm tones, you know. And then the second one is 32 count linen Atomic Ranch Sleepy Hollow. Oh my goodness. Can't figure this out. This, I love that. Yeah. I feel like it should be a Halloween yeah. or something. I need to look and see if they have that in Ada. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was my keepsakes. Okay. Now let's go to your travels. Now, again, traveling to Tampa. <laughs> Crafty Framer. Yeah. Um, they were so nice there. Um, and so I got a couple of patterns. I got uh, Lucy Beam Love and Stitches All Hallows Eve Heart. I love you love the again, sparse, dirty fabric, very sparse mm -hmm. pattern, kind of bleak. Um, look at that pumpkin face. Love it. It's love good. it so much. It's very good. Wait a second. So Christmas in July would be in Halloween in April. Is like the six month. Oh, is that a thing? No, I'm making it a thing. Oh, okay. I'm saying I might do some Halloween stitching in April because okay. it's like halfway. Point. You have plenty of Halloween. I do. Halloween patterns. Yeah. Um, I also got. I'm going to attempt to biscorn you for the first time. Mm -hmm. Spooky friends, biscorn you from Stitchy Fish. I had never seen this. Yeah, I hadn't seen it either. Yeah. It's fun. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute. Little mm -hmm. spiders. Are you gonna, you're actually going to make the biscorn you? I might. I bought a biscorn you pattern, but I'm just going to stitch it. It's like a square. <laughs> that works too. I know. <laughs> um, and then the last thing I got there, they um, I had never seen this Jeanette Douglas Designs pattern. Uh, it's called Take Time to Collect. And we it's had, so perfect. We had talked about like it's it's kind of it's wild how perfect it is. So both of our parents were collectors. Mm -hmm. Um both have passed away recently. Yeah. And so our mom collected anything crafty, sewing supplies, um horses, angel, like really sewing machine, yeah. a lot of anything. Um, <laughs> and then our dad collected vices, and this pattern has just a bunch of sewing supplies and then a vice. A random vice. Yeah. Like it's so perfect. Not perfect. Yeah. Um so yeah, I'm excited. I'll stitch mm -hmm. that. It's got a lot of specialty stitches. It really does. Yeah, I just saw the back. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, good call. Should probably find oh, some that's Lugana pattern. for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to show that. So, so I, you also picked me up some stuff from yes. there. Right? Okay. I'm a good personal shopper. 
This is the one I was thinking for the foul move. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. If we're allowed to do that. I, I'm, I will we'll <laughs> double check with Jen, but I think she'll okay. be okay with that. Um, I don't know. I might start it tomorrow then. There you go. I do have, oh, I didn't bring my, I didn't get my floss. I was going to use Gloriana, is it plum? Something plum? It's like purpley. It's um, purples and reds and blues. And yeah, but like dark The bag is somewhere in this yeah. room. I don't know. There's a, there's a anyway. lot going on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then Aaron had sent me a text and I didn't see it about this 32 count fabric. And she was like, basically, do you want me to pick this up for you? And I didn't see it. And luckily she just went on and did because she knew I would want it. Yeah. <laughs> so look at that. And I, I looked at the tag, and I don't know the yeah, dyer. Yeah, it doesn't say the dyer. It's called Yule. Yule, um, yeah. So if... 32 yeah. count Lugana Yule. Yeah. If anyone happens to know, like, yeah. the design, or the dyer, please let me know, because yeah. I would, would like to record it. a fun Christmas pattern. That would be. It, see, I think it could be, like, Christmas, or even, like, sp or spring. Or it neutral, kind of. or this looks like a face, a creepy face. I'm closing that. Yeah, yeah okay. It's a little bit terrifying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I... Next travels, um, I was on the, uh, like, well, like Seattle, Tacoma, Portland kind of area, mm -hmm. and got to sneak away and go to Acorns and Threads, which mm -hmm. was very exciting. Um, so I got a couple of patterns there, three patterns there. I got uh, the Stitchers RSVP by Posey, um, which I, I just think is so cute. Like, listen, I still want to be invited, but I'm not coming. <laughs> um, that speaks to the introvert in me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, it. Yeah, so I don't know. I might. That's a really cute cat. I might just stitch the cat the way it is. Oh, I thought you would probably switch it to a dog. I thought or something. about it, but it's so cute. I might. It's, it's a cute cat. cat too. Um, and I got uh, a Plum Street Samplers pattern. Oh my gosh! Turkey Love. Look at their legs. What are there's? I <laughs> so long. Have never seen this. Yeah, and I am in love with it. I like they're they're taller than the house. I think it's great. It's so good. Yeah. So I might save that for Thanksgiving. I can do my Thanksgiving start. Oh, I have a Thanksgiving start from Acorns and Threads that you picked me up. Oh, that's I'll right. show you after. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I'll and move then it to the front. The last thing I got was Prairie Girls Sampling Needle Art by Marjorie Massey, Quaker Style 5. Um, it's so pretty and it's so bright. I love the colors. There's a little dog. Uh, that's chicken's cute. There's all kinds of good stuff happening. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm going to stitch it on gray fabric and make all the colors like bright because it has that like really bright fishnet fish yeah yep. and I have lots of hot pink left I love that yeah so this designer I don't hear about them that much but I have the woodland sampler oh I don't know if I showed you that one I, don't, I want to see it though oh it has like squirrels and deer oh, and it's really good but I yeah I don't hear about that much okay my Thanksgiving one that Aaron picked up is with a Grateful Heart by the Artful Offerings. Birds. Look at those birds. They're good. <laughs> oh, they're so good. And then another Artful Offerings, A New Day Has Come with birds. So good. And then a bird pattern. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one had been in my one, two, three stitch wish list for a while. And Aaron sent me a picture and was like, this is beautiful, like in person. The, the model, model stitch. So pretty. And I had never seen the model, and I was like, buy that now. Yeah. <laughs> Add cart. <laughs> um, this is Newcastle Boutique. And okay. Oh my gosh. I was so worried I was going to say it the <laughs> stupid way. What did you say I should say it in? No. She's like, Newcastle Bouquet. And I was like, oh, it's actually Bouquet. <laughs> if you had made me say that, mm -hmm. that would have been great. What did I say? You said Boutique. Not boutique. It was close. Okay. We're so close. We're getting there. Yeah. Um, by Teresa Kogut. And look at how pretty. That how is the border? Yeah. I know it, it looks probably tedious. <laughs> but I'm excited about it. Yeah. It looks so good. The border, the birds, the flowers, everything. Yeah. Oh, I had one more. We got Oh um, yeah. So Acorns and Threads has an exclusive Gloriana color. Mm -hmm. So it got us each a woolly bully. So. Did you tell the, quickly tell the story behind it? I oh, think it's fun. Yeah, so uh, Janine, who I got to meet and was incredibly nice from Acorns and Threads, um, was telling me that their, I think it's called Wooly Bear, is the Gloriana, was a Gloriana color, but when she saw it, she read it as Wooly Bully, 
And she said every time she was like stocking it, she was singing Wooly Bully in her head. And when she like sent an order into Gloriana, like whited it out where it said Wooly Bear and made it say Wooly Bully uh, because she had told the, the, I guess the owner of Gloriana um, about it. And then they had like a kind of misdyed Wooly Bear it was lighter and they sent it to them called Wooly Bully. I think that's so great. it's exclusive to Acorns and Friends. It. Yeah. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um it's the only other thing stitchy kindness for me. I have, or you have more. Okay. A little bit more haul. So okay. I got uh some needle minders from so Grandma Girl Designs, who I bought patterns from in the past and stitched um a couple of things from, uh had some needle minders. So I, I got well, four, because the Jaws one that was on my Great White Christmas mm -hmm. is from there. And then I got uh, Dolly Parton holding a shotgun and a possum playing a banjo. And I had never realized how much the pokey little puppy looks like uh, my sweet dog Corbin that passed away mm -hmm. right at the end of the year. Um, so I got those. And I didn't, it took me a minute to put two and two together, but in each bag that she sent, like these were wrapped in a, in a little bag, she puts a Werther's original. Oh my god. <laughs> Grandma, oh, grandma. Oh. which is a very nice touch so i love I appreciate that, that. i yeah. love that um but yeah they're those are very nice um and then my last piece of haul i i did not realize that cedar river linen had ada um so got three pieces of fabric from so them. just wanted some neutrals i mm -hmm. when i first started stitching went a little ham on buying 14 count ada yeah. So I have lots of 14 count. I don't have much outside of that. So mm -hmm. these are all 18 count. I just wanted some neutrals mm -hmm. um, in an 18 so count. So this like terracotta color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. What's it called? Red cedar. Um, so yeah, they're all just neutrals to have. But I already have some ideas for them. <laughs> so, and then... Oh, I had a book. stitchy kindness from mm -hmm. Aaron. Yeah. In your travels. Yes. And this was just from like... This was from Blick Art, Blick Art in Miami. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she got me this Pantone journal that I'm a little bit of a graphic design nerd. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like Pantone. But yes. the cool part of it is, like, the pages are, like, I don't even know. It's hard to tell if you can even see it. There we go. Like, three quarters of the page is a grid, and the other yeah. is blank. And the grids are all different colors. Yep. So kind of cross stitch adjacent. It's a Do good you? like cross stitch design. Dime. Dime? Yeah. What We're so close. So close. Design. <laughs> cross stitch. Cross stitch design. There like you go. Little notebook. Yeah. And I love it so much. So yay! Yay! Hey, we did it. <laughs> we did <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was yeah. a rough one. That was uh, it's yeah. all right. But we did it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. We. We'll say this again. Thank you all so much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. We appreciate you watching. Um, and we're so glad to be part of this community. Yeah, we forgot a plan. What? You don't remember the plan either? We were going to... We're thinking about doing oh, yeah. a stitch, stitch with, with us. us. Um, yeah. Because like we said at the beginning, like three weeks feels so long. Yeah. But also... But if we it's did two a, weeks, we wouldn't have much progress to share. And it's a production. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, your time is very limited on the weekends, and we don't want to take up, like, the whole day. So, I figure a stitch with me would be fun, um, and we would actually get some stitching time in. Yeah, I like that. And my thought was, like, it would not be live. It would be, like, a pre-recorded thing, and we would maybe do, like, a QA and a and ask for, you know, you all to send in questions for us. Like, any yeah stitching questions or, like, other hobbies or, I don't know. Yeah. TBD. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We thought it'd be fun. Well, sure. So, yeah. If anyone wants us to stitch with us, <laughs> yeah, let us know. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Something to like kind of fill that gap because it was a very long time. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. All right. I will quit interrupting you now. No, you're good. You can... I'm glad. See, I'm glad you remember. I don't remember much right now. So, um, yes, we just wanted to say thank you and we hope you get to stitch today. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you all so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Makes sense. So, um, I had, I had charted this up like forever ago. This is the theme. Everything's been charted like four years. Yeah. <laughs> um, but and we'll show a picture because I don't have a, I don't think I have a printout or anything. Um, 
it's just like a heart shape and it's like X's like it looks like it's cross stitched so all I have done is like the center row but I'm calling this you complete me adorable but why <laughs> because does he complete me? <laughs> <laughs> cheesy and I was kidding. What's <laughs> <laughs> happening? Are you gonna leave that in? <laughs> this is where it goes down no. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Stop. We're no. not doing this again. We can't. No. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna... <laughs> Just don't say you complete me again. Because I can't. Okay, my thought was. <laughs> okay. I didn't. I told myself this was not going to no. happen. We should have known. Okay. Kay. Okay. Kay. Just give me one second. Why'd you have to? So anyway, this is a heart. Where is it? Are we Okay, just give me one second. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> we forgot to turn the heat down. We should do. Okay. Okay. So. Are we starting this over? Or am I picking this up now? Where do I go? <laughs> Don't push. Pretend like we're starting over. Don't okay. say he completes. So I say. Okay. Why? <laughs> okay, I did not want that to happen. You gotta hurry so we can go get Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, am I just starting start over? over? Just start I'm over. starting completely yeah. over. We're just going to look. Put, them. Put a note. Yeah. <laughs> just another blooper. Okay. Okay. All right. So, the next pattern I worked on, um, I'm calling. <laughs> you can say that part. Just don't say the other part. Okay. All right. 